Hello you guys, it's Maggie again. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, again, my name is Maggie and I am a very part-time reseller on the Poshmark app and I have been vlogging my journey since the beginning of the whole thing. So we will jump right into it. I'm going to do um, a thrift haul this morning. One of the things about my social work job that really helps me in my Poshmark work is that I get to travel to all these different cities and when I go there, I'm often able to find tiny little shops. I, I love a Goodwill and I love a Salvation Army. I am not bad-mouthing those because goodness knows I enjoy those. But sometimes I find these little thrift stores. The one that I found um, most recently was a Catholic Charities thrift store and they just had wonderful things there. And all of the pants and shirts were a dollar, or no, all the pants and shirts were 75 cents and all the dresses were a dollar fifty. I just couldn't believe it. So. I got a white 13 gallon garbage bag of clothing and one stuffed Walmart um, sized bag for $42. So it was almost as good a price, probably pretty close as I would get them at the bin. So I'm going to show you all of that stuff and then I'm going to show you a few things that I got from Goodwill. So this will be a longer video than I normally do. I will tell you that right down here in a little bin. Um, I have two kittens. Kitten season has officially begun. So I have Finn and Lucky, and they're right here with me. So if I have to stop the video because they need something, I will get right back to you. But for now, they have just eaten. They might make a few little noises, and then they'll be going to sleep. So anyway, let's do this. <sighs> Whew. Hot. This is a Vineyard Vines dress, size 12. I The only time I've ever found Vineyard Vines, it was really worn out, like it just been loved and loved and loved. Anyway, this one is in perfect condition. I'm probably gonna say this a million times throughout this video. $1.50, that just makes me happy. I'm gonna go back to that place again. Honestly, I don't travel to that area often for work, but I may make a special trip just because what wonderful things to get for such nice price, uh, prices. These um, are not a fancy brand, but you guys know how I am. If I find something that's in good shape and I like the style, I will go ahead and buy it. These are St. John's Bay Capris with a little cuff on the bottom. Um, these are size 12. They've got a little drawstring on the inside, which I don't really understand, probably just to tighten up the waist, which I have that trouble, so I get it. Um, little double buttons and cute little decorative pocket over there and again these are not going to make me rich but I think that somebody will get some good use out of them and I'll be able to make a little money since they only cost 75 cents here is another dress I didn't know this brand it's called Bahari group I'm going to show you the label a lot of the thrifters know all the brands, and I'm learning, and I obviously knew some of them just from being around, but this is not one that I recognize. It's a size 12 petite. It's really a cute little dress. Um, just kind of a shift. Cute little office-y dress. <laughs> My sweet dog is over here. Her name is Schmuffy. She probably will be making an appearance, knowing her. Okay, these are... I don't know how to pronounce this correctly, but I know it's a nice brand. Josephine Chows. These are just a pair of capris in a size 12. They need a little bit of stitching um, in the area around here just to kind of fix up the uh, buttonhole. But that's no big deal. I kind of enjoy that stuff. This is so cute. It's a nice brand. It's an Evan. Pecone, which I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong and I don't even care. There's that, size 12, just a little dressy halter, red dress. It's kind of um, kind of plain a little bit, but it's just so cute. Little ruched red dress for a special occasion. $1.50. See, I'm going to have to say it over and over. These are a pair of 151 Capris. They've got the sparkly label. I have no idea. I bought this brand before, but I don't even know what it means. Little pair of Capris. Really cute. Um, little office-y looking pockets on the back. This little detail. Um, no pockets, which is interesting, but um, this little stripe of detail there stitched on. 
um, southwest lining. Very cute. Those will definitely be okay. I don't think that's a fancy brand, but again, I'm okay with that. Gotta say it again, those were 75 cents. <laughs> Olive and Oak. New with tags. The original price on this was $45.95, I think. Forty, yes, $45.95. It's extra small, which I don't normally buy extra smalls, but it's such a cute little t-shirt um, with the knot in the back and the high-low hem. So I did go ahead and buy that, obviously, um, and I think that it will sell. I'm definitely just super happy to have found that with its tag still on. Oh, I heard a kitty talking. This is um, G brand, and I've seen that before, and Empty Hanger mentioned that it's a brand that often sells at little boutiques, and this was just a nice style. It's all cotton, little tassels, a little southwest bodice, bodice. it's just really soft, and it'd be nice um, for the spring and summer season. These are Talbot's Stretch Capris, size 12. Really cute, a little bit, little distressed, which I don't think that Talbot's does, but these are worn in kind of a nice way, you know. Um, they've, it's got the pockets with the little flap on the back, and um, they're actually pretty plain, but and they need to be steamed, obviously, but these are pretty nice. These are yay. If I could have gotten them in a bigger size, I would have been happier, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. These are vintage Levi's, size seven. They were not made in the United States, but here is the, there's that, the label on those. Tiny waist, you probably can't tell, but this is maybe 12 inches across. I don't know, maybe it's bigger, but, um, but as you can tell, if I pick up the rise. These are true vintage jeans, and this is how long the rise is, which you can tell it's kind of bigger than my head. So that's that's a very high rise, maybe even 12 inches. So um, they're super super straight legged. So these are some old school mom jeans, and excited to have found those. These are Liz Claiborne, not a super fancy brand, but that's okay because they have very cute fabric, little anchors all over them. They're ankle pants, um, ankle cut with a little little cuff at the bottom. Very cute. office -y type pockets. I don't know the name of those, but anyway, they're in perfect condition, and I think somebody could wear those with a, with a nice light colored top to the office and be cool this spring and summer. Here is a pair of White House Black Market pants. These are size 14 regular. Way cute, ankle cut. Really like those. I had a really good selection of sizes in that store too. Here's a pair of Old Navy pants. Oh, I hear them in there. <laughs> Old Navy Pixie pants, that was schmuppy. She's going to go tell the other people in the neighborhood that she's not going to allow them on our property, which is fine with me, and I'm not saying that she would really hurt anybody, but I like it that she's so protective. Um, but I don't think she'd ever really hurt anybody. Anyway, these are Pixie. I do Old Navy Pixie pants, and I don't think they've ever been worn, and they are a 14 regular. Right crazy pattern. Okay. These are an Izod golf pair of shorts, size eight. Stretch, just plain black golf shorts with lots of pockets. Excuse me, allergies make me crazy. Okay, these, I don't know about this brand, but I know I've heard of it and I think it's a good, a good bell that rings in my head, Ideology. The wide leg comfy pants with a drawstring waist. Um, they are a size 14 and they have, I don't think you can see it, but they have kind of a silver, yeah, you might be able to see it, kind of a silver line all through them. 
I mean gold. Oh. I'm telling you guys, it was a long week. Lots of driving, but that's okay. Drive and do all my regular work, and then I get to go to these cute little stores. These are Bandolino size 12. These again are not fancy, they're just a nice pair of longer shorts. Officey in the back. They have the, another little officey, which isn't a word, pocket right there. Gotta say it. 75 cents. Here is a L.L. Bean dress, size large. Way cute. T-shirt material. Just a cute little plaid. Pink, blue, and cream. Midi. Be nice and comfy for summer. Here's another black L.L. Bean size large again. And this is a another, I think it might be the exact same dress, actually. Um, there you go. It's just a little summer t-shirt dress with some gathering. Very comfortable for office time or church or whatever. This is a Land's End dress, size 18, which is an extra large. Very cute. It's not. It's more of a polyester blend, or maybe straight up polyester. It's got a belt with it. Very cute style. Here, I don't know about this brand either, but obviously I'll check it out. I hear them talking. They do talk right after they eat, and they have they play and talk. And I always figure that's a good thing because then their little lungs get stay clear and they're using their voices and I think it's a very healthy thing. So if you hear them crying, they're not really crying, they're just talking. They have full bellies and it's time to go back to sleep. These are Venus brand. I do not know about them, but they're very nice. A pair of white, longer shorts. Um, I may have said it, I may not have, I can't even remember. I was up through the night with the baby. Size 12. Um, baby kitties. Little sparkly findings all over them. Those are nice. So, see what those, see what the comps are on those. Here's a pair of Talbots, lightweight cotton pants in a size 10. They're stretch. Super, super cute. I love the pattern. I'm just going to slam it up there against the thing so you can see it. Way cute pattern. Good shape. All right, that is it for the uh, the little Catholic Charities thrift store that I stopped in at. And I'm, now I'm going to show you some stuff that I got at the Goodwill maybe a week ago. I'm going to hopefully get to list all this stuff this weekend. It's Saturday morning. I'm really hoping so. Anyway, let's go get the Goodwill stuff. This is a Tommy Hilfiger sweater, which I did not want to buy because it is getting to be spring. But I got it at the bins, and it could not have cost me more than a dollar or two. It's uh, probably vintage Tommy Hilfiger, so I had to buy it. Um, it truly does not even appear to have been worn. It's in excellent condition. So, yeah. There were other girls there who were shopping, because they are resellers too. And we, have, we don't know, know each other, but we've kind of run into each other a few times, so we're starting to kind of know each other. And so I tried to get them to buy them. They wouldn't, so I had to buy myself. So, here's another Tommy Hilfiger. This is uh, kind of a different, it's a sweatshirt material, but it's a button-up cardigan. And I don't know if it's vintage. It's certainly a vintage style. It's got the, it's like a letter, letter sweater, letter jacket by Tommy Hilfiger. Um, they are both size extra large, I believe. Let me check this one. Yes, it's an extra large as well. So these are both extra large, both vintage, and I'm going to go ahead and list them. Like I said, I did not want to buy them because who the heck wants to buy a sweater when it's starting to be sunshiny and spring outside, but that's okay. I bought this for my brother, Ted, or maybe Joe, I don't know. I, when I It's so silly. They're grown men, and when I found this, I just wished I could have two so that I wouldn't hurt anybody's feelings like they're that sensitive. They're totally not. This is a fishing vest. That's what the 
says Gun Club on it by Bob Allen. I don't, I can't swear to it, but it doesn't seem like a new item. It may be. It's wrinkly, but you can kind of see. It's a little fishing vest. Or maybe hunting. They probably know who would get the most use out of that. They are both fishermen and both hunters. My brother Joe, he has a YouTube channel. It's called Rod and Arrow. You need to check it out. You need to, or if, if anybody in your family or your friends likes to hunt or fish, you need to check out his channel because he knows all kinds of crazy stuff about hunting and fishing. It's amazing. I didn't even know he knew this stuff. I don't understand it, but I did. I mean, I knew he was smart about it, but I didn't know he was really that smart about it. Wow. Anyway, here, oh yeah, I got these at the thrift store too. These are another, I'm going to show you, these are Bill Blass. I don't know if you remember those because if you do, you're as old as me. That's the rise, guys. Again, bigger than my head. They are Bill Blass size 10, and they are very mom jean capris. But the funny thing about these mom jean capris is they have the, the cargo thing on the side. So you can put on your mom jean capris and put your hammer in there and go out and do some building on your property, I guess. I just think it's adorable. I don't know. That might make people not want it, honestly, but they truly are vintage, so I got them anyway. I mean, like I said, they were 75 cents, so. This is a Wrangler size medium western shirt. That's what the tag looks like. It's so cute. It's got uh, kind of a paisley print all snaps and all the snaps are intact I checked this is from the Goodwill bins um, I'm gonna just let that go right up there so you can see what it looks like see what that pattern looks like in the little snaps um, it's a size I probably already told you but that's okay it's a size medium Okay. here is a, a brand well no not these I, it's just my size I'm going to talk to you about later. These are Christopher Bank, size 20W. I hear the babies. Straight fit. Here's what the pockets on those look like. I have had really, really good luck with selling plus sizes, and I enjoy it. Here's a little, um, whatever, cardigan. Um... And it's by Cable and Gage. Again, it's spring, um, so I don't know. This could transition into spring pretty well. I think it's more like a three-quarter sleeve than a long sleeve. But I don't find Cable and Gage in this area very much, so I was pretty happy to find that. <clears throat> Excuse my sniffles, my allergy sniffles. This, I believe, is American Eagle Outfitters, size medium. It's just a little tank top. Excuse me. Way cute. Lace on the bottom. Sp double spaghetti straps. Very, very cute for summer. Size medium. Of course, it runs really small because it's American Eagle. At least in my opinion, it runs small. This is this is a, this is a Walmart dress, guys, and it's size um, extra large, and it's just cute. That's why I bought it. It's just just cute that's all it's kind of a vintage style almost pinup girlish it's got these little ruffles on the bottom I love the turquoise so I got it at the bins it probably cost me 50 cents and because our bins are 99 cents a pound I know other people's bins are a little bit more than that but ours are 99 cents a pound so literally this little lightweight dress probably cost me 50 cents and I do think that somebody will buy it just because of the style I know that I've heard people say that doesn't work for them, but so far it seems to be working for me. I found these silver Suki jeans. They are size 30-30. Put that up there so you guys can see it. Very pretty, and I checked to make sure all the sparkles were there, and they are. There's a little tiny bit of damage on the bottom, but nothing major, so I think those will do well. I hear you down there, babies. Here's another pair of vintage jeans. I got these at the bins. They, I can't even really tell what brand these are because they're old. These are like straight up old. But 
Congo Trader. That's what they're called, Congo Trader. So uh, that doesn't mean anything to me. But look at this. These are truly vintage. <laughs> Acid washed jeans from the 80s. They're size 18W, which that's unusual. I have not yet, now I don't have all that much experience, so I shouldn't say, but I have yet to find a pair of plus size vintage pants. So um, I was pretty darned excited to find these. And they are truly vintage, and they've got a lot of, of nice natural wear, like on the, I don't know if you can see, there on the, on the ends of the cuffs, they're just a little bit tattered naturally. They're very cool. So I'm hoping that somebody will like those. This is a pair of Calvin Klein, size 29. And these are leggings, size 29 Calvin Klein leggings. Very nice feeling, nice quality. Um, some little detail here on the bottom. Nice little patchy detail there. Again, really good shape, no wear. This is really cute for spring or summer, for something that you have to kind of be fancy for. It's a cold water creek, size 12, um, and it's kind of a, a satiny, sheer shift dress. Very plain, nice purple color. And that was at the Goodwill bins. So that was very inexpensive. I have definitely learned that you have to keep your cost of goods down. Um, there's just no way around it. Here is a pair of Maurice's jeans, size 15, 16. They're just the plain style that we all love, that we all love and, and wear over and over. And there's... They're size 15, 16, like I said, and they have no wear around the cuffs, and they have no wear in the crotch area, so that was a good find. I told you guys before, we have a Maurice's in, our, in the place where we have the bins, and I think that maybe when they're switching seasons, they make donations, because I seem to have been able to find quite a lot of stuff. So, here's a pair of bibs. Now, bibs are supposed to do really well. Oh shoot, needs a part. Well, that's gonna be a problem. These are Mickey Mouse bibs. They look to be um, genuine Mickey Mouse and Company article, especially when you look at the tag back there. So, anywho, they need a little fix, but I know that I can buy the, the clasp at the uh, fabric store. So, they... Adorable pockets, see? Little Mickey Mouse pockets. So cute. So, yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much. I'm gonna, got a call coming in, I'm declining it. There we go. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by again. I'm gonna go ahead and get off here so I can check on these babies, even though I know they don't know, need anything, but they've got me right where they want me. And please subscribe. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Be safe out there.